Hi Libra, how's it going? This is your February 19th through the 25th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is new love coming towards you or you coming towards new love. Uh, spread number two is for those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Uh, in the third spread we'll be looking at love from the past. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Uh, then we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Chariot. Uh, we also have the King of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Empress with Justice and the Ace of Cups. And uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Fire Sign. There is there Sagittarius. We also have Cancer, Taurus. Um, and we have you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we have you twice, right? Both uh, the Empress and Justice cards in the potential outcome are your major arcana cards. Justice, that's just you, and you share uh, the Empress with Taurus, okay? Um, what I can tell you right away is some kind of a trip coming up. Either you're going to be going on a trip or somebody's going to be go coming to you, right? And it has something to do with a group, with a group of people. Okay, we have two really, really fast cards in the tarot deck, two of them, right? And both of them are on the table. As a matter of fact, the first card, the Eight of Wands, is one of them, and the Chariot, further down, clarifying the Page of Cups, is the second one. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck is also a pretty speedy card. So, somebody is traveling. Somebody is traveling. I don't know if it's you or someone you know or the new person you're going to be meeting is traveling. But uh, somebody's going to hit the road for sure. So yeah, the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, cooperation. This is when a group of people get together and do something together. And uh, the Three of Pentacles could be a card of people working together, like literally working. It could be a group of friends, a bunch of people in the same club, joining forces and doing something, going somewhere. So for some of you, you could be going somewhere for work, on a business trip, or going in a conference, or your workplace could be sending you to school for a week to take a class, to, to pass a certificate exam or something like that. Uh, for others of you, um, you know, it could be like a retreat, <laughs> maybe your yoga group or your book club is going somewhere on a, like a spiritual retreat or you could be going, uh, you know, skiing or snowboarding with a group of people or a particular club, whatever, right? Uh, let me know in the comments down below where you're going or where this person is, go is coming from, right? The Page of Cups clarified by the Chariot. Um, the Page of Cups could be either an invitation to go Right? Or if you're already going, this is where that person will um, approach you, start a conversation with you. It could be a person of uh, that same group of people or it could be someone you meet while you're on the road or while you're studying or while you're snowboarding or skiing, hitting the slopes, what have you. Right? So the chair, it could be a cancer, you know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's that second very fast card. And uh, all of this has to do with that King of Wands, right there in the middle. So the King of Wands is the actual person whom you will be uh, getting to know. <laughs> right? So it could be a fire sign, there is Leo Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, it could be somebody who's got the initiative, somebody who's like a leader, somebody who's got the uh, outgoing personality, somebody who's easy to get up and go. Right? And uh, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, again, another speedy card. It could be, again, a card of you going somewhere, or it's uh, a start of a cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The word fortune is there for a reason. It's a major kind of card, and it's a great one. Right? And uh, in the potential outcome, we have you twice, <laughs> the Empress with Justice and uh, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is like the upgrade from that Page of Cups, but... Uh, much bigger than just the regular upgrade because the Ace of Cups is all about genuine, true, authentic love. Right? Um, yeah, for the tenth time, both the Empress and Justice are your major arcana card. You are in your own potential outcome represented by both of your major arcana cards. But uh, if we want to forget for a second those are your major arcana cards, the Empress is a future wife, future spouse, future significant other figure. This is somebody who is being loved, cherished, taken care of, somebody who is 
you know, respected, put up on a pedestal. And besides that, the Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. It's abundance in its purest form. Justice could be karma, good karma. The common misconception is that karma is always bad, always negative. Not necessarily, right? Car car karma is a very complex thing, but if we do kind of strip it down to bare bones, it's either negative or positive. And since it's sitting right next to the Empress and the Ace of Cups, I think you've got, you've earned some good karma. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, looks good. Have a good time traveling if you're traveling, or have a good time socializing with this person if this person is coming to you. And uh, yeah, definitely something serious is on the horizon. Really happy for you, Libra. Congratulations. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, Libra, uh, this part is for you. We have the Three of Wands, uh, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Cups. We have the Emperor and uh, the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or any zodiac sign. Um, very specific reading. The Emperor, right next to the deck, is the la or was the last card that came out, right? So I think what's happening has to do with the Emperor, and uh, what's happening is, is directed at the Emperor. Right, uh, the emperor could be a husband figure, spouse figure, or a father figure, or like literally a father or grandfather, or a figure of authority, or somebody whom you respect, and uh, things like that. So perhaps it's your I don't know father father's birthday, grandfather's birthday, or your husband, your spouse's birthday is coming up, or or you just want to do something nice for for this emperor, whoever this emperor is to you. Because, uh, like I said, I think it's what's happening here is directed at that person. So you could be like giving something to this person. The Page of Pentacles, kind of in the middle right there. I think this is either you or the whole family getting ready to do something for this emperor. To literally give them something like a present. It could be tickets to a show, tickets to a game, tickets to a concert, or what have you. Okay, that's how it kind of feels. Let me know in the comments below if it's not uh, what I'm think what I think it is. This person could be either a part of your family, not necessarily your immediate family, a part of your extended family, or you may feel this person is like a family to you because we do have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands, right? Both of them could be interpreted as like car cards of massive celebrations, but those are family cards, commitment marriage cards. And uh, the three of ones, the first card that came out, uh, this is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, right? And I think you're going to think about it a little bit as to what you want to do or what you want to give to the emperor. <laughs> if you are getting um, married, perhaps it's a part of your tradition to give each other presents, right? <laughs> perhaps you're getting married and uh, you know they've got a present for you and uh, you also want to give them a present because... Uh, you know, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands are still commitment and marriage cards. Alright, so, but this is like a really nice, really, really nice, warm, loving atmosphere. Very nice, warm vibe that, that I'm picking up from here. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra. Uh, this week, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent next. We have the Queen of uh, Swords, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by Judgment. Then we have uh, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's a reconciliation, Libra. It really is, you know. Especially with the cl cl <laughs> clarifier cards present here. Right, we got both you and uh, this King of Pentacles. So the, the King of Pentacles is most likely an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. They're clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. They are on board. Right, the Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment in marriage. It's a card of financial abundance. Um, the uh, Queen of Swords, uh, the first card that came out, which I assume is you, you're clarified by the Ace of Swords. <laughs> the Ace of Swords is a card of a new beginning. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. All right, um, it's a card of like a very straightforward conversation. It's a card of clarity. Right in the middle, we have the Nine of Cups, clarified by judgment. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true for some of you. There could be some kind of an event coming up that has something to do with it. Judgment, clarifying it is a card of somebody coming back from the past. It's also a card of somebody having to make a judgment call. So perhaps with that Ace of Swords, this is you making that judgment call. It's like a verdict on your part. You're deciding to give it another shot. Right, then we also have that Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is a card of a, 
uh, soulmate connection. What's interesting is that the first spread, the new love spread, even though it was freaking amazing <laughs> with the Empress and Justice and all other cards, that one did not have any commitment to marriage cards, right? This one does, even though it's a clarifier, but it's still here, okay? That doesn't make the first spread less beautiful, uh, but uh, <laughs> it's what we have, right? This one is a reconciliation for sure, all right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances uh, this week. Libra, we have uh, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, uh, the Seven of Wands, clarified by Justice, and uh, the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You will have to, I guess, stand your ground against this Queen of Wands. Uh, could be, if you run your own business, it could be somebody who runs another business and they're your competitor, or it could be somebody who is uh, working together with you. They have one idea or one vision, and uh, perhaps you're you have another vision or you have another idea and you'll have to stand your ground, yeah? So the Queen of Wands, when it comes to work, business and finances, the Queen of Wands could be any zodiac sign. But uh, yeah, in general, it could be uh, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But uh, when it comes to business or work, it could be somebody who is in the same industry, who works with you. It's a colleague, it's a co-worker, okay? And uh, with the um, Seven of Wands clarified by Justice and uh, the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, you will have to defend yourself and uh, you will have to be like proactive, right? The Seven of Wands is a card of somebody who is on defense, but it's a card of active defense, all right? So be proactive, don't wait for this person to come your way, uh, do your homework if you already know who this is, you know, and uh, yeah, you stand your ground, <laughs> okay? Justice clarifying the seven of that's you, that's your major arcana card, all right? It's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own rating. And the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of somebody who is on the attack. Not literally, don't charge towards this person, but, uh, you know, let them know who is boss. Let them know that uh, you, you're the one, you're, it'll go the way you see it, um, all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Libra. We have the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups, clarified by the Three of Swords. Uh, we also have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Libra, what's going on? You've got people this week. It's like every single spread had either a king or a queen, and uh, the couple spread had the emperor in it. <laughs> you know, that's a lot of people. But uh, in this case, what you're not expecting, I guess this King of Cups is going through some kind of a broken heart situation. I don't know who this person is to you. It could be a friend, a relative. It could be an ex, another ex. It's not the same person as we saw in the uh, Love from the Past spread. But this person, this King of Cups, yeah, they're going through some kind of a predicament, some kind of a ordeal. They're clarified by the Three of Swords, right? It's a card of a broken heart, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling betrayed. Uh, the Ten of Wands to the left from the King of Cups is a card of a burden, something that's taken a toll on them. The Nine of Swords right next to the deck is a card of somebody who is depressed, losing sleep, right? And uh, that's what I think is happening to this King of Cups. I don't know what you had to do with it, but uh, maybe nothing. You'll just they'll just let tell you what's going on with them, and uh, you may have to decide what you want to do about it. Or if uh, it's uh, and if it's another ex coming back to you, you could be telling them off. Or if it's a new person, <laughs> you could be telling them off also. All right. Um, yeah, that's what you're not expecting. So, yeah, uh, Libra, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing week.